Yasser Najjar guides his three-year-old son through the rubble of what used to be their home. They stayed in a UN school during the war, but they had to leave when the school was being prepared for students to return. I was so shocked when we returned here. We are worried about what we will do when winter comes. Yasser says he doesn't have the money to rent an apartment. There is no electricity or running water here, but for the time being he prefers to stay where his house once stood. Across the road, corrugated iron cabins have been constructed with money donated by two foreign aid organizations. Each has a tiny kitchen, bathroom and two rooms. A hundred have been built so far. Nowhere near enough for the tens of thousands of people left homeless in this neighborhood alone. Families who apply are assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. I'm not optimistic about getting a caravan. If I do get one, it means I probably won't get a house for a long time. It's been almost a month since the ceasefire began and there is still absolutely no sign of any rebuilding going on here in El Khuzar or various other neighbourhoods across Gaza. Now the people say they feel completely neglected by their government and the international community and there's very little hope here that their lives will change anytime soon. Getting building materials into Gaza has been delayed for weeks because Israel says Hamas may use them to rebuild tunnels. The UN says an agreement with Israel and the Palestinian governments has been reached over monitoring how building materials will be used. But that deal is not only dependent on Israel, but on unity among the factions of the Palestinian government. There will be no reconstruction if the national consensus government is not in Gaza. And if there is no reconstruction, there will be no stability. The UN says the war has left around 100,000 people in Gaza with nowhere to live. Everybody, uh, I think, uh, is concerned with uh, peace here in Gaza and to achieve this peace, uh, peace here is to reconstruct uh, the demolished houses. Yasser has no idea when he will have a home for his family again. He and tens of thousands of Palestinians like him have little choice but to seek shelter wherever they can. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Gaza.